Good evening and welcome to News Geelong. Only two more sleeps until another merry and holy Christmas day is with us for 2009. In tonight's News Geelong we report on an early Christmas present for the Geelong Rainbow Riders from the Coca-Cola Australia Foundation of $10,000. The Geelong Youth Area's activity on the Geelong waterfront and a change of venue for the Geelong Highland Gathering in 2010. To begin, the City of Greater Geelong has unveiled its latest tourist information guide for the Geelong, Ballerine, Surf Coast and Otway regions. City of Greater Geelong tourism portfolio holder, Councillor Bruce Harwood, joins us with the announcement. Just unveiling our tourist information guide, which is a new guide the city's releasing. It's about information about the uh, Geelong Bellarine area and the, uh, the Surf Coast Otway area. Uh, the guides have all the information you need uh, if you're going to be a visitor. We come down to visit friends down in the uh, touring, touring around the Geelong area and uh, has all the information that you'll need. Uh, take you down to the Bellarine, to the wineries and the golf courses and uh, all about the Geelong waterfront all about the, uh, the surf coast and the, uh, the Otway area. So if you're coming down to visit Geelong, make sure you get hold of one of the uh, tourist information guides and it'll tell you everything you need to know. Thank you, Bruce. And just a reminder that the new tourist guide is available on the City of Greater Geelong website or you can collect a copy from your local COGG customer service centre or from the tourist information centre on the Geelong waterfront, just down in front of the carousel. Geelong shoppers and visitors have been enjoying the sights around our city centre in the pre-Christmas period, but none of the sights have been as a little strange as a special amphibious vehicle moving on the waters of Corio Bay and then venturing along the streets of the Geelong waterfront. We're Ride the Croc, also known as Duckabout Tours, and you'd see us heading from Cunningham Pier. We drive down here and we splash into the water behind us with a big big splash. After that we head along Corio Bay and then we head around to St Helens, coming past beautiful Rippleside Park and through the new majorly developed waterfront area and back into Geelong. Uh, we're excited to be here, we've been up in Darwin but it's certainly beautiful along this waterfront area and uh, our tours head off four times daily, 11, 12, 30, 2 and 3.30, an hour and a quarter, great fun. Thank you to Caitlin Doble. Ride the croc! A special vehicle indeed. Youth activities, especially around the holiday periods, are an integral part of the Geelong community involvement. City of Greater Geelong Councillor Jan Farrell, portfolio holder for Education and Youth, spoke to News Geelong regarding the dedicated youth activities area on the Geelong waterfront. We're at the youth activities area on the Geelong waterfront, just checking it out uh, to get ready for next Wednesday's event which is a dance event, um, free for all the young people in Geelong and runs from 11 till 3. Um, those of you who haven't been down here yet, we're at the end of uh, Moorable Street across the road from the Deakin Waterfront campus and um, this is an area that's been dedicated to the young people for, from Geelong um, and has been here about 12 months now. We run lots of free events here. Continuing on the youth theme, we join David Lee from the Geelong Activity Centre discussing the Royal Dance Made Up event. We're here to do an event that's called the Royal Dance Made Up, which is like a made up that is for people to come and express their feelings about dance. And we're trying to raise money for the Ronald McDonald House Foundation for all the sick kids that have to cope with cancer. Thank you, David. Keep up the good work. It is great to see young people expressing their creative flair in the art of dance. Helping inspire change for marginalised young Australians is the mission statement of the Coca-Cola Australia Foundation. This past week, the Foundation Chairman, Mr James Bird, made a very special presentation of $10,000 to Geelong Rainbow Riders founder Ross Clancy at the Rainbow Riders property at Connawarri on the Barwon Heads Road outside Geelong. Dr Chris Cooper, president of Rainbow Riders, said children with mental health and social issues often struggle to communicate, but put them with horses and they can achieve so much. Since 2002, the Coca-Cola Australia Foundation has awarded over $7 million to Australian programs across the nation. And a very special thank you to Jack, the Clydesdale, 
for his time and ongoing efforts with the Geelong Rainbow Riders community. Uh, we've been operating for, um, working for 11 years. Um, and we started off, I guess, with um, three or four children um, and built up a good um, clientele, a reputation, um, you know, with our program being successful within the um, community. Give some really positives to children who, are, who have been um, misfortunate not to have opportunities. We use the horse as um, a reflection of, of, of caring and nurturing um, and to, you know, to, to improve quality and self-esteem within the child. It means an awful lot. It means that um, it gives a group of children an opportunity to participate in the program um, that otherwise wouldn't because of um, their economic background and social background um, and funding children for the program is just sensational. It, it just gives, um, we have a, a backlog of about 30 or so children on the list um, and the core of what we do here is, is program. Um, and that gives, you know, we, we can now start children next year who, would, who couldn't start without, the, you know, without this foundation. Uh, on behalf of the Coca-Cola Australia Foundation, I'd like to present this to you and thank you very much for the work you're doing. It's wonderful. Well, it's just a pleasure. Um, this means that we can sponsor a lot of children through the program um, that will just help and change lives and create some positive memories. So thank you so much. The Coca-Cola Foundation has uh, a charter of helping the marginalised youth of Australia through trying to inspire them to change their life a little bit. And we look at uh, criteria of uh, environment, education, welfare and leadership. And in the Rainbow case, they've done that uh, with certainly with leadership, certainly with the uh, uh, welfare and in the education field. They've done very well and we thank them. Jack, he's a Clydesdale, he's about... 25, 26 years old, so he's quite an old fella. Um, he gets a lot of use down the cart here. We can fit probably about more, 10 or 12 people on the back of this cart here. He'd weigh, or oh, how heavy would you be, Jack? He'd weigh probably about seven or 800 kilos, so it's a big horse here. Um, yeah, he gets a lot of work out here. We'd use him four times a week. The kids love him. He does a really good job. He's been here oh, since I started, so probably around seven, seven or eight years. He's a big, beautiful, gentle giant. He's looking fit. He's slowing down a little bit as he's getting older, but he's in good condition. If he keeps his condition up like this, he should keep going for another, another few years for sure. Following the break, we continue with News Geelong and a change of venue for the long-running Geelong Highland Gathering in 2010 and an interview with the new Mayor of the Surf Coast Shire, Councillor Libby Coker.